Before we start with the discussion for today, let's recall first some of the concepts we discussed on the previous video. First is we have the postulate number 22 which is the central angle intercepted arc postulate. This means that the measure of a central angle of a circle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. We also discussed about inscribed angle theorem which states that the measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Now we will have more postulates to tackle and we will start with postulate 23 which is the arc addition postulate. This states that the measure of the arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measure of the two arcs. Let's take a look at this example. Let's say we have this circle A, wherein the measurement of arc BC is given, which is 85 degrees, and the measurement of arc CD is also given, which is 55 degrees. Now, we need to find the measurement of arc BCD. If you will notice, arc BCD is made up of two two minor arcs which are arc BC and then your arc CD. Therefore we can apply postulate number 23 which is the arc addition postulate and we can say that the measurement of arc BC plus the measurement of arc CD is equal to the measurement of arc BCD. Now substituting all the values 85 degrees plus 55 degrees that will be equal to the measurement of arc BCD which is 140 degrees. Another example is let's say we have the circle O wherein measurement of angle AB is given which is 52 degrees and the measurement of arc BC is also given which is 148 degrees. Now we need to identify the measurement of arc ABC. So similar with the previous example, arc ABC is made up of two arcs which are arc AB and arc BC. Now we can apply the arc addition postulate and say that the measurement of arc AB plus measurement of arc BC is equal to measurement of arc ABC. This happens because arc AB and arc BC are adjacent. So, we can now substitute the values. So, we have here 52 degrees plus 148 degrees. So, that will be equal to measurement of arc ABC so we can just add, therefore, measurement of arc ABC is now equal to 200 degrees. Next is we have postulate 24. This states that the diameter divides a circle into two semicircles. So let's say you have here a circle O and VP is a diameter or segment VP is a diameter. Now applying the postulate 24, whenever you have a diameter, that means that there will be two semicircles formed. So in this case, we have arc VAP and arc VIP which are our semicircles. And if you will notice, the endpoints of the semicircles are the endpoints of your diameter as well. Now let's add another diameter which is segment AI. So in this case we have two diameters, segment AI and segment VP. Now since there are two diameters here, so that means there will be four semicircles. Now, let's start with segment VP. So, you have arc VIP and arc VAP. Now, with segment AI, there are again two semicircles here. So, you have arc AVI and also arc API.
Okay? So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about Postulate 23, which is the ARC Edition Postulate, and Postulate 24, which is regarding the diameters and semicircles of a given circle. So thank you for watching and see you next time.